and uh, as as this uh, I mean, blog titles implies that emerging concerns in Indian education. It looks like that we have we have concerns which have which have been emerged in the recent time but then concerns are actually concerns are actually that are continuous kind of uh, conditions or situation right so likewise the concerns on education in india have been emerging always although some of the concerns are very uh, uh, some of the concerns had have very long history or long past but then uh, many of them are found to be emerging day by day the concerns which we felt century back uh, today also we are very much concerned about that for example like uh, education of girls education of women that was a, a kind of there was a kind of different concern even if in ancient time in medieval time and and today also it it it, it persists there we we talk about differently we talk about girls education we have uh, we have been like uh, bringing initiatives in the name of girls education so that is where some of the concerns are you may say evergreen concerns or like ever ever persisting concerns those were there in long past and those are still a persisting today in a very active form so uh, today's uh, paper is in fact quite comprehensive uh, blog i would say or paper where uh, many 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 uh, many many subject matter can be addressed together in the uh, within the purview of like emerging trends or emerging trends in indian education right the first section that is unit 16 of this paper uh, tells about a social diversity in education social diversity and education now what is that social diversity and how how does it has a, a correlation it has a kind of a relation with education or social diversity vis a vis education or vice versa education and social diversity we are uh, expected to understand we are expected to uh, reflect on that then as you need 17 of this paper that is equity and excellence in education now as a part of uh, 
the social context as part of emerging concern uh, there have been always a discourse discourses uh, or like debates on on like getting access to education or making participation in education and they are and and producing education making participation and producing education providing uh, educational services so they are these are what these are also some of the emerging areas and these areas are again to my mind these areas are found to be ever ever persisting concerns ever persist ever persisting uh, areas like we have been always talking about since uh, since independent at least we have been talking about equity and excellence in education so this two terms equity and excellence uh they they will be always there those were there in past and they they will be there in future so uh that is also an one of the important or oh, these are also important uh concerns in education like uh, like if you keep them within the larger context of uh, society and education then we always we have always a concern regarding uh, equity or equality equity and excellence uh, in education so that's another uh, important uh, art a subject matter we are supposed to deal with in this paper then we have while dealing with this uh, subject matter of emerging concerns or like social context we have like in unit 18 alternatives in education alternatives in education so that is also found to be a very old con concept an old concern although it is treated as emerging as i told you some of the concerns or the concerns on education uh will be always there some of are treated as emerging but then they are they they might be having long history like alternatives in education alternatives in education has also a long history but then we had uh we at a uh, time to time different alternative in our educational practices what we had like in, in long past or like and 50 years back or 100 years back we have added several things in the name of we or we have uh, like brought many many more alternative practices in the name of alternative education so that is why uh, like although those are found to be emerging but it has a long history those have long history of of like educational practices then we we have in the unit 19 recent trends in indian education recent trends in indian education where we would be talking about like uh, privatization uh, specifically we would be focusing on privatization globalization then sustainable development right so let's start with 
the unit 16 that is social diversity and ed education no do you see any sort of uh, diversity first of all then do you also at the same time see a kind of connection a kind of relation a kind of correlation between social diversity and education let's put a thought for a minute right so let let first uh, talk about our social diversity do we believe in that we have social diversity or we are very much uniform in our social uh, social life or social composition in india yes i'm asking you anyone can uh, reflect on that what what, what sort of diversity we have in the name of social society hello yes namaste sir namaste who is this sir dharitri patra okay dharitri uh, uh, someone is actually trying to present uh, priyambada priyadarshini prasti if you can like um, presentation priyambada is trying to present actually uh, by chance or by mistake that might have happened okay yes uh, daritri uh, you can yes. sir yes in our country india there is a vast diversification diversity in society right. many types of diversification is present here uh, just like a uh, gender diversification uh, mm. caste uh, uh, um, language religion etc these uh, types of uh, diversifications are present in our country india right. ah yes you are right so uh, uh, like daritri do you also see at the same time a kind of uh, uh, a kind of relationship at this or visible uh, so far as uh, like social diversity and education is concerned yes sir yes what is that uh, if you can like uh, light on that or if you can uh, like enlighten on that to us sir again ask me this question ha ah, my my question is daritri that yes. okay as you rightly pointed out we we do have a very uh, like uh, wider diversity social diversity right in the name of yes. in the name of caste religion our languages right we have Again. like kind of uh, very wider uh, diversity uh, we often uh, like fail to understand uh, in a very holistic or in a very comprehensive sense but then those are visible uh, characteristics of our society right so yes, do we have also uh, any uh, kind of train any kind of like uh, understandable relationship between social diversity and education yes sir yes, there like. is a relation, there is a relationship uh, between social diversity and education right yeah. uh, when in our society is uh, in, when in our society diversification is present it affects our education system also in our mm -hmm. school we face this type of diversification just like a language religion caste uh, gender etc and it affects our education system also okay yes. so that is that is is telling that uh, yes it has a connection uh, with education that uh, our social diversity uh, determines education social diversity uh, influences education our curriculum our pedagogy right 
our uh, our uh, like educational setup systems like school colleges or university so uh, she is trying to uh, uh, see or understand will will come in uh, a, 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 like details uh, to his so to her uh, like perspectives of social diversity and education that's a of course that's a very interesting part of this uh, whole subject matter to understand but then there are other uh, issues other uh, relations we are supposed to uh, like understand them what are those can be or what what are those yes if anyone can uh, uh, re reflect on that what sort of relationship do we see in terms of our social diversity and education i'm repeating please come on okay and no problem let me uh, tell you that uh, in in our uh, text prescribed text course they have tried to cover many things but then uh, many things have not been also addressed properly or have not been covered right but yes that social diversities and uh, education there is a there we we see visible or understandable uh, relationship right let's start with like women women as a as 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 kind of social character social uh, social like as part of larger social composition women like their counterparts men how like how women as social character has a kind of relationship with education as i have been telling you many times or often that yes we in we have like witness in india a kind of uh, like in different uh, in different behaviors in different approaches of uh, of uh, for like women women in education right their education in 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 history in long history in long past although th there were concerns but then uh, they were at the at the receiving end they they have been neglected and today also although we see a kind of uh, like consoling or consolation that yes we do have a kind of uh, balanced participation of women looks like that we see a kind of uh, like equitable participation or like a balanced participation on the part of boys and girls like almost balanced participation we see but then but then participation of girls or women in like in true sense or the ground reality is that like some of the uh, i mean uh, parents and like uh, my community members they like do have hesitations they do have a uh, sort of reservations or uh, in the mind or they have a kind of mindset that you know they they do not require education after a certain certain point after a certain stage might be after school education class 9 10th or 11 12th they are discouraged for the uh, for further education in in many societies it is it is it is found 
it is a ground reality it is a uh, like it is a uh, stark reality in those in that society so that is why uh that is why that has been a concern in our like in modern indian society at least that why yeah, why it should be so happen or it should be so or uh, so it, we should have such kind of like practices or kind of reality despite the knowing fact that they are like in this to this uh like a part of i mean telling part is also a, a kind of uh, we are demoralizing ourselves that we cannot also we, we cannot afford to tell that they are part rather they are they constitute themselves society right so they are participation that we we see we have been witnessing a kind of relationship uh, uh that in between women and education participation of women and education in education right so although there has been concerns or there have been concerns from lo long past but then yet it has been found to be a kind of challenge a kind of or uh, if our emerging challenge right that in terms of developing is a positive sense developing a positive kind of understanding about education of girls and then providing a kind of uh, encouraging environment uh, like a uh, stimulating environment comfortable environment within this within the family within the society and in an educational setup has been a uh, challenge has been a great challenge right so that is one of the uh, context of of like social diversity and education isn't it so in that sense i was trying to tell you uh, my question was very uh, specific that what sort of relationship do we see in terms of social diversity and education like that is one context gender like transgender if you talk about gender transgender not women and men but also transgender like yeah, recently recently uh of uh, like transgender the, the other like i did identified social group a social character transgender like we we have we have shown a kind of concern in the recent past on very recent past that yes uh this should be kept for them we should have a special we should have special provision we should have like encouraging environment uh, at at the societal level at the like at the informal level as well as at the formal level when they come to school come to or uh, uh, like higher education institution they should be treated fairly right so that there is also a kind of relationship social diversity and uh, this transgender in, in terms of so, transgender and education we see a kind of relationship now if you if you if you uh, try to uh, like see the reality the population of transgenders and their participation in education is not so it's not so uh, it's not so pleasant not so uh, like even progressive they have been grossly neglected from uh, getting education or they have been grossly deprived from uh, getting education and for that there there are several reasons several reasons so that is also one of the uh, reality of social diversity and education going beyond we have also uh, 
find that we have also found that that social diversity caste our religion our language right we have a, a very uh, visible our relationship in between th that social life that kind of social diversity and education again so let's talk, talk about caste caste which is an identity which is an ident social identity that matters our uh, like education that matters that that has that has been a matter in getting access to education that has been a matter in uh, in participating in educational process right caste like in a uh, for like kind of uh, caste that is uh, we see that we see in our indian society as take for example uh, brahmins like brahmins as a uh, group or a community or a kind of uh, independent identity like if you put them in caste then uh, like if you uh, see the statistics their access to education their access to knowledge basis their access to education or their participation in, in producing in in administrating education or in producing education or in providing educational services we have a different features than the rest of the uh, caste or like communities or or class social class in our society they have we, we have we have found their their part their access their participation is uh, higher much higher then rest of the uh, social caste or social communities or social class classes right they they have done or they are they have been doing better than the rest of the uh, social groups so likewise we 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 also see a kind of relationship in between religion and education as a social diversity religion and education in india again we we are we we are having multiple religions we we are like we have many religions and we see also kind of a trend a kind of relationship in between our religion and education now what do we see anyone have uh, anyone has any sort of uh, like perspective or kind of uh, understanding with regard to that religious diversity and education if you can anyone can reflect of that yes please what is your like perspective or understanding uh, with regard to social diversity that is religion and education so uh, yeah. in india we have different yes, kind of religion that. yes so we have different religions like hindu hinduism uh, islam yes. christianity and other religions so uh, hinduism uh, has uh, different kind of religious practices mm -hmm. which is different from islam mm -hmm. and uh, islam is having a different kind of practices which is di different from christianity so mm -hmm. likewise we have some kind of religious based educational institutions like uh, hinduism has is having uh, uh, like ashram schools not ashram school actually uh, like uh, saraswati sistu vidya mandir uh, which is actually uh, kind of religious institutions mm -hmm. and islam uh, for nowadays for islam nowadays having they are having uh, uh, they were having maktabs and madrasas previously but now uh, still uh, some of the, those are running yes so different kind of religious institutions are still running in india mm -hmm. 
secular uh, uh, those are non secular those are religious right yes sir yes. yes sir anything else you have in your mind regarding religion and education religious religious diversity and education yes any anyone else having uh, a sort of understanding sort of impression regarding uh, religion and education no yes uh, Ma madhuba is uh, very, all right that we we have seen and we have been uh, also experience experiencing uh, witnessing that uh, we have we have like religious religious religion oriented educational practices and that has been also given right that is that has been considered as a fundamental right in our indian constitution and article 29 and 30 isn't it that uh, religious religion based educational practices uh, and there is a freedom for that we have been given freedom and that is uh, also labeled as fundamental right or that's a very protected uh, practices that's a very protected practice now as madhava told pointed out that yes we have uh, religious religious religion based practice like for hindu hinduism we have uh, like this nowadays saraswati shishu vidya mandir right and for islams they have uh, like maktabas madrasas for uh, till till day we we see like missionary schools like uh, like saint saint joseph saint joseph's or like based on like christianity we we uh, we have uh, like establishment school establishment isn't it so that is one thing that in that is one part of uh, religion and education we have uh, we have a kind of non secular approach in uh, in in doing educational practices we are guided by our religion while uh, like providing education to our people so basically what we are doing there when we are guided by our uh, re religious beliefs religious uh, philosophy we uh, simply we try to uphold our own religion we try to we are trying to uh, like promote our own religion we are trying to embrace our own religion but the other uh, aspects of the religion and education uh, we have like we have we have found that from our from our study uh, during our uh, surveys that we have uh, as a part of like providing secular education or getting secular education where uh, people from different relig relig religious belief can participate common school system we see also a different kind of access different kind of uh, success in it right in in common school system or in common higher education system so what what kind of uh, like pictures we have like we have seen that the uh, like participation of christians of christian uh, christianity based people they have more uh, more prominent or their presence is more more statistically than other followed by followed by hindu so uh, christian population they have like relatively they have more access to educational to, to education or educational uh, system education systems than rest of the religious uh, religious uh, population like followed by hindu 
then uh, uh, Sikh Jews in India, then uh, then Islams, and then uh, of course Buddhists are also there. So uh, what we have seen that some of the like people identified with a particular religion, like say for instance Islam, we have seen that or we have been witnessing that their participation is not uh, not like like other uh, counterparts. So their participation is relatively at the at the lower side. If you like see the literacy the literacy rate among them and like participation in higher education even we have a very they have a very poor representation in entire education uh, system in uh, entire educational practices in India, especially in secular education. They might be having uh, like good uh, like kind of or uh, kind of proportional representation in in uh, in their own uh, system of education that is maktabas or madrasas. But so far as their party, their access and participation in secular education is concerned, uh, they have shown up, up, I mean, up to date or till date, they have shown more, very poor, uh, uh, poor like uh, representation in secular education, right? So in that sense, uh, we have also a kind of relationship between uh, social diversity in the name of uh, religion and education, right? So that is what the context I, I was trying to uh, bring before you. Then, what else we have? Then that. Already, I have uh, talked about like influence of social diversity and education. As Dariti also rightly pointed out, that yes, our social diversity determines uh, like our uh, uh, access to education, our success in education, and also that determines our uh, our presence in our educational systems that is there. Uh, there we have differential access reaching the, uh, so differential access, I have, as I have been told that we have differential access. Some of them have uh, proportionally good representation, uh, having a different social diversity or different social uh, backgrounds, but they have like uh, better representation than the, than the rest of uh, the social groups, right? And there we have uneven participation and completion. That is also I that also I have been talking about uneven participation. When I mean, participation is not I mean, see caste dekhiba, ki I mean, religion dekhiba, ki I mean, gender dekhiba. So there are many questions like I mean, imbalance roichi, unevenness roichi. So what are they? Even in completion. Completion, like uh, the issue of like uh, that completion of, for example, average, uh, average school years, uh, uh, like 10 years of schooling, uh, 10 years of schoolings. There we see uh, like unevenness. We have seen that the dropouts rate among girls in school education is more the dropout rates by by people of a particular community a particular religion is even more than the rest of the rest of the uh, like 
community members or rest of the uh, religious uh, like uh, people from religious background so that's a visible kind of reality that's a visible reality for us to understand right then uh, like completion in terms of like achievement also we see we see differences like uh, social diversity social diversity again uh, there is a relationship in terms of achievement and social diversity within the social diversity like uh, those having better i mean language command or language ability as a social diversity they are doing better in education and their achievement is uh, even better than those are not having a uh, better or language uh, linguistic ability like likewise in terms of other social diversity like if you see uh, like uh, gender or even caste also we see uh, or even religion we see uh, there That's is a socio economic status yes yes socio economic status language geographical origin gender or sexual orientation bring their different knowledge background experience the interest for the benefits of their diverse uh, the diverse and the social diversity right so that is what i mean uh, you are right that not only uh, i mean uh, purely social characteristics but then when you also yes. add their economic their economic yes. as the added their like economic as also in distinguished part of social uh, diversity we see yes. that matters education that matters education. your your place of origin where you have taken birth yes your uh, like your 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 nature of social environment what kind of social environment you have been blessed with you have been surrounded by that matters your education that matters your achievement in education yes right so that is what yes. uh, is the subject matter of this uh, social diversity and education right and uh, then here we have recent challenges of diversity of diversity for education recent challenges of diversity for education uh, achieving the unfinished task achieving the unfinished task that's a uh, challenge what is the task task or targets we have like set targets uh, as a part of uh, ambitious policy like in be it universalization of elementary education or like uh, ensuring ensuring uh, higher education for substantial population of the relevant age group say for instance uh, 20, uh, like 20 uh, 20 to 23 so we have been or we have kept or we have been keeping targets time to time but then those targets i have not been so easy for us right uh, for example uh, universalization of elementary education like uh, keeping a uh, social diversity in mind we we are supposed to universalize and elementary education elementary education by uh, uh, 2010 2010 and also we again we we kept uh, a target it, like we could not break through or we could not like universalize elementary education in uh, in two sense then we again we Uh, we we somehow we managed to accommodate within millennium development goals 
that is 2000 2001 to 2015 so again that was also accommodated uh, within that millennium development goals that we we should achieve it universalization of elementary education but then what is the problem what are the problems we have been um, uh, coming across like or we have been facing again gender things uh, then uh, our achievement then uh, like participation of like some like social socially disadvantaged groups as scheduled caste scheduled tribes and also some religious uh, uh, like background people especially in india we have uh, uh, like participation of muslims or is i mean muslims uh, in uh, school education we again we have uh, we have found that their participation is not so encouraging till date so uh, the, like ensuring education of of these groups has been really a challenge for uh, for the government for us so unfinished task achieving unfinished task uh, in that sense has been uh, really a challenge we are looking for uh, different strategies or we, we have we constantly we have been working there to uh, like achieve those uh, tasks or achieve those targets universalization of elementary education or like ensuring education for ensuring higher education for substantial population of the relevant as group to, to as group 22 23 right so uh, that is there that concern is there then we have their like cultural nationalism and nation building that's something uh, a visible trend cultural nationalism nationalism let me first tell what do you mean by nationalism that's that's again so i mean how do we again connect this with uh, social diversity we are as you understand we are uh, socially diversified to a very wider uh, extent we are socially diversified also in in that way we are culturally diversified our our social diversity is again identified by cultural diversity culture is not departed from social diversity right so that is a very um, clear picture of indian society we are culturally we are socially diversified and also culturally diversified since we are socially diversified we are we, we, we are we are supposed to be we have to be culturally diversified so cultural diversification in that sense is a kind of inevitable uh, situation there has to be cultural diversity right but then how uh, within the cultural diversity we see uh, nationalism let me first tell what is national what do we mean by nationalism what do you mean how what do you understand by nationalism Yes, anyone please? Nationalism. What do you mean by nationalism? Yes, anyone please can uh, reflect on that? Then we'll come to the point cultural nationalism, right? Nationalism, how do you look at nationalism? How do you understand nationalism? Yes, 
Yes, come on. Yes, sir. I am Subhashri. Subhashri. National, nationalism. Yes, sir. नेशनलिज्म का मतलब ये होता है एक जाति धर्म संस्कृति भिन्न होने से भी हम लोग एक है हमारा जो एकता है उसको नेशनलिज्म बोलते हैं हेलो यस हेलो यस नेशनलिज्म द डिजायर ऑफ ए ग्रुप ऑफ पीपुल हु शेयर द सेम रेस कल्चर लैंग्वेज etc to form an independent country okay that is the reality sir right yes anyone else so nationalism means uh, feelings towards the nation and being united and respecting the national identity national values yes national yes Uh, I do agree with all of you uh, that nationalism, as Madhavar rightly pointed out, that's a feeling. That's a that's a, that's a feeling, and also that's a practice. That's a form of expression. What is that? That yes, we respect our nation as a whole. Yes, we we claim as Indian. We claim as Indian. We glorify as an Indian. We we feel proud as an Indian. We sacrifice our life as an Indian. Isn't it? that is so the feeling of uh the feeling and the kind of practices the feeling of being with the nation that yes i am indian i i respect it i am i am protected by it and also i for that i i feel proud i i can i can like give guarantee of pro pro protecting it i can sacrifice for that so that kind of feeling that kind of uh, practices that kind of respects is what we call nationalism that is that is with a person that is with a person and the person possibly from a different social background <coughs> the person possibly can be a different cultural background right it's not that that is confined to a particular uh, social background or cultural background like it is confined to a uh, a caste nationalism nationalism is confined to a caste or nationalism is confined to a religion nationalism is confined to uh, a gender or nationalism is confined to what say for a, a particular community is not like that it is it is open to it is open to all so whatever like social diversity or cultural diversity we have we do have a feeling of feeling of belongingness that is i am indian i am indian in respect of my my social identity respective of my cultural identity my cultural beliefs my cultural ethos yes i i i i have a feeling that i am indian i am indian and that is what nationalism and for that that you do do, do not only feel like that at the same time you respect the national values what are the national national values like doing fundamental duties 
like protect, protecting fundamental rights of yours as well as others. This are what you are or we are respecting national values. So that that source that source uh, that source that the feeling of uh, nationalism. So it has a very also close connection with culture. Right? It is a, it is a fact that that we we are socially diversified. We are culturally diversified. But then we have undoubtedly we have feeling of a belongingness that is I or we belong to India. Right. So that 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 what gives the uh, that's what gives the the kind of uh, evidence that or uh, that, that evidence itself that yes there is a, a nationalism with with culture of course of course we 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 have been witnessing or we see a kind of uh, what do you call that how do you level that a kind of pro or proactiveness in that in expressing one's own feeling of nationalism or in 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 like in the name of nationalism there we see kind of proactivity proactiveness for example cultural nationalism and education for example uh, for example like in the recent past Uh, like especially since India is a Hindu concentrated uh, nation, uh, we have seen that in the name of in the name of pro protecting national values or respecting national values, what we have we have seen that among some. Uh, among some people, particularly from Hindu background, uh, they they have shown a kind of a proactiveness in in India. For example, what was happening that in the same time you you have you might have seen that like. Uh, doing trade and commerce of cows, animals, cows, by a particular uh, like religious uh, group or particular uh, population. I mean, trading of cows and slaughtering them was uh, opposed opposed in a very uh, violent manner by some religious uh, fundamental groups that is uh, Hindu, I mean Hindu population and uh, isn't it? So what is that values, national value is there like uh, there is a feeling that culture or that feeling that, that social uh, belief that by the Hindus that uh, we we consider or Hindu consider that uh, cows are like they are mothers like they are treated as mother they are treated as like sacred uh, sacred life in in human life in uh, in environment human existence on this earth and uh, we respect we we have heard that 
but then and also they are for we have a kind of uh, like constitutional provisions under directive principle of state policy somewhere it is uh, it is it is a prohibited practice which we should not uh, like uh, take the life of cows we should not slaughter cows it is prohibited practice but then like some people uh, do not hesitate and they do not even keep uh, uh, on the back foot in doing such kind of uh, practices like despite of opposition they uh, keep doing business and they keep uh, like taking like of cows so as a result there was kind of views there was kind of uh, conflicts among uh, particular two religious group islam muslims and uh, hindu so that is what and the other on the other hand the other groups that they claim that that muslims they claim that okay they don't mind in taking lives of cows that is what uh, uh, they, they they do not uh, like unpleasant them that kind of act does not unpleasant them and that is why they are doing that that is not part of their religious funda but then other groups like uh, hindus they believe that no that is actually a, a heinous crime and they cannot like keep themselves in peace if that is happening with them or in front of them right so that is what cultural we are identifying with the culture that is okay i i am i belong to this particular our religious group but at the same time i am trying to also protect of the national values constitutional values that has been uh, given to us or given to me so that is a kind of cultural proactivism we have shown so we do not mind if i can if i like uh, if i become martyr in doing in protecting my uh, cultural value and my culture and, and my nation as a whole so that is associated with what a kind of uh, a kind of a, a typical of uh, cultural beliefs and also there we see a kind of relationship uh, with nationalism with the nation it's not that that is only associated with the uh, culture that but also at the same time it has also a relationship with the uh, national values that majority of people believe in that yes doing something uh, like sacrificing or slaughtering cows are uh, really uh, that is uh, that is unpleasant and that like uh, hurt the sentiments of the uh, crores of people in india that is why we are supposed to keep away from doing such kind of act and if anyone could dare to do so we can firmly and we are ready to and some groups are ready like majority is ready to oppose it in a violent manner so that also we have seen we are like uh, becoming more with uh, detailing so anyone would like to reflect on that will then go to another you need that is equity excellence in education that we have been talking about uh, let me go to that unit but um, so what is the equity and excellence in education what is your uh, perspectives what is your understanding on that equity what do you mean by equity yes anyone please reflect on that
equity and excellence that's that is something uh, interesting and one of the most debate debated uh, subject matter or areas areas of education equity and excellence equity uh, yes yes anyone if you can reflect on that equity hello yes uh -huh. sir equity means providing special facilities to a group of people in order to uh, in order to enable them to achieve uh, to um, achieve equality equity helps in gaining the um, profit of equality okay can you repeat i could not actually clearly uh, yeah. okay clear. okay sir equity means providing special facilities to a group of people in order to in order to achieve equality for that group of people okay okay yes yes any anyone else would like to reflect on that I'll give uh, one's own perspective okay. on equity yes come on okay uh sir education is compulsory to all and uh, education is equal for uh, all that is uh, it is promoted to all the people for economical study or uh, social study civic cultural it is uh, all are equal part of our life so it is compulsory to all and uh, equal facilitated to all the uh, all the society members so as to uh, education and uh, equity and excellence is most important to our education right so ganeshya has a perspective that uh, since uh, education is a is a, a kind of essential or uh, condition or getting educated is a kind of uh, essential condition if anyone has to live a better life in uh, uh, today's society uh, that uh, it should not be a privilege it should not be a kind of uh, confined uh, or restricted opportunity rather it should be or uh, it should be a like it should be uh, uh, easy easily accessible Um, um, FAR, right? Or opportunity? Yes, precisely. Equity, as like Dariyatri pointed out, that uh, providing uh, special opportunities for those who need for uh, getting access or getting success in education, right? That is what we call equity. And, and and precisely uh, technically it is defined as uh, providing educational uh, facilities according to needs of the people so that's that's invites different treatments in different situation providing different treatments in different situation since our needs vary since our needs are not uniform not equal in terms of our condition then then automatically that invites a situation where uh, that we look for different treatment a kind of special attention by the since we are special since we are different since i am different i look for a special attention special treatment by the state by the government right so precisely equity is what providing a special opportunity special attention or of providing different treatment 
to different groups or to differently uh, needing uh, groups uh, needing people is for for like uh, uh, getting access to education and success in it is what called equity or uh, the idea of equity or the practice of equity right so often that is called as also affirmative action affirmative action like what do we do for that say like we have provision of uh, like uh, provision of financial assistance to people we have provisions of like reservation in uh, educational institutions we keep reserve forms reserve seats for uh, people i mean uh, people belong to a uh, social disadvantaged group scheduled castes scheduled tribes or uh, like religious minorities that is then like uh, differently able uh, groups like physically challenged or uh, groups like visually challenged or hearing impaired impaired or like uh, orthopedically challenged we have a uh, kind of different provisions for them so that they can get education so that they can get success in education that is so we we provide different treatments according to the needs of people or for their uh, education in india and that is what we call equity right then there we have a concern that is excellence in education excellence what, what do you mean by excellence excellence in education but what what do we mean by terms excellence in education what what do you mean by what it should be what we should mean by uh, excellence in education amo amo isabre excellence artha sikare kon ha ba uchi but forget about what state think about what government think about but what do you mean uh should be excellence in education then we come to the Next point uh, means, uh, yes madam sir so excellence means touching the peak of success or reaching at the end that we have already fixed like we if we want to bring the minimum level of learning at the end of the session then that should be the uh, point where we have to reach uh, so when uh, excellence be, uh, actually actually i don't know why the uh, fixed line that, uh, yes madhav actually you are not audible uh, probably there is a connectivity problem or what but am i audible to all of you clearly yes sir yes, sir. you are yes sir yes madhav can you repeat please sir i ha uh, sir so uh, excellence means touching uh, the peak of the success mm -hmm. in general touching the peak of the success mm -hmm. and in education if we have decided to reach at something if we reach at that particular point then that is the excellence in that education process right sir jodi ame amaro jodi education ro lakshya hobo je ame समस्त को लिटरेट करेगा, लिटरेट करेगा जो दिल आमर लक्की है, जो दिल आमे लिटरेट करे ही पारी ले, सही तो हम आमर एक्सेलेंस। एक्सेलेंस, राइट, और सक्सेस। यस, आई डू एग्री। यस, मतलब, आई डू एग्री विथ यू। एंड एनीवन आई वुड लाइक टू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन दैट एक्सेलेंस व्हाट डू यू मीन एक्� Sir, the teaching process, which is uh, uh, all are uh, should get success and uh, uh, all have to educated and it is uh, provided successfully to uh, 
all students and a teacher uh, is satisfied to teach the students and uh, after all the results should be um, very good uh, uh, if the result is uh, are getting very good and the uh, teaching process is also excellent sir ha uh, see uh process kotha kochanti like uh, when we uh, uh, what do we uh, like intend to do and we get it in different two different modes and that is that is our success that is our uh, achievement and that is our excellence right so uh, like okay at a given point of time we do define we do uh, like set our goals yes this is what i i want to achieve All right and and this is what i want to achieve and and uh, the means can be of different but this is what i want to achieve so our means of achieving that can be also excellence at the same time and eventually what we achieve is what actually we were expecting or we 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 had set in the form of objectives in the form of our plan our goal so at a given point of time what we expected to expected to achieve if we can achieve that that is what the excellence so otherwise precisely what the education we serve serve a purpose the process we serve our purpose and the product we serve our purpose is what excellence now what we consider excellence today may not be uh may not be uh, excellence tomorrow it it becomes outdated it becomes uh it becomes like past for us on the next day to back so the point is that that excellence in education is that what we intend to do and how we intend to do if we can do that that is what the excellence right as like madhava was uh, citing an example like a minimum learning is if our target that is minimum that is minimum maximum can be uh, can have different points but if minimum is our target that is also our our success that is uh, that is also that where also we have a uh, good success but that itself is not excellence we we can go beyond that minimum so so what what can be the maximum yes we can we can fix a target for that we can fix a target for that and if we get it to different means to different means means we 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 look for uh like um, good infrastructures we look for like we look for supportive human resources look for like good human resources or like which can be uh like productive to uh do the act of education or to carry out the act of education so our means that is infrastructures our means like human resources and our means of processing that uh, 
available infrastructures and human resources the approaches the capital of like resource that is material resource as well as uh, human resource and at the same time the nature of processing that capital of human capital of resources both the excellence of resource that we have a good inputs we have good inputs then also the way we process that available resources there also we 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 can have like excellence in like processing the available resources and that eventually takes uh, towards like producing good service or producing good product that is the success that is the achievement so that is what the excellence in education we mean right so you, you consult the text you'll be able to know uh, many other things there we uh, we are supposed to know so uh, there we have different as uh, different situation in at different levels in terms of uh, equity and excellence in education right so uh, we have we have seen a kind of we, we have seen a kind of situation uh, we have been uh, witnessing kind of situation in school education uh, in terms of equity then yes government uh, is encouraging it government is trying to or uh, striving to uh, like ensure education um, school education for for like all and for that sake it is it has taken uh, different initiatives time to time and it has been taking initiatives uh, time to time then for like uh, like also uh, like ensuring excellence in that in school education uh, or in per, per se like excellence of equity in higher education as well government is taking different initiative or has taken different initiative uh, for that matter likewise for ensuring excellence in higher education as well government is uh, taking different initiatives time to time like for example the latest uh, in higher education we have seen like initiatives like USA, Rastriya Madhyamik Siksha Abhijan, sorry, Rastriya Uchitra Siksha Abhijan. They are where um, the government is trying to provide infrastructural supports or providing, is trying to provide like freedom to uh, higher education institution as, as, a, uh, as a kind of means. Uh, for like ensuring what maximum participation by like uh, expanding the strength of uh, higher education institution or universities and thereby adopting a kind of flexible approaches whereby it can reach uh, to the uh, fixed destination reach to the uh, like reach to uh, Risk to the determined destinations uh, that uh, by uh, by the uh, higher education institutions, right? So it is there. That is what they are in uh, strategy for equity in uh, education. We have I have talked many things in between. On your this unit 17. Uh, yes. Excellence in education. For that matter, we are supposed to also uh, deal with the uh, situation that is meritocracy, democracy, and excellence. Three things, how they go together. Meritocracy. Democracy and excellence, meritocracy, merit, merit. What is merit? 
and how do we determine merit? Uh, okay, please tell me to whom we say merit or uh, the, what is the concept of merit in, in uh, like education and then meritocracy. How do you look at this uh, problem? How do you understand this problem? Yes, please. Madhava, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, how do you look at uh, Madhava? How do you look at merit or meritocracy in uh, in in practice of education or in educational practices? Yes, I am not sure, but I am just trying to speak up. Okay, no problem. Like merit. So merit means achieving uh, uh, the highest uh, score. We speak achieving the highest score. If meritocracy is a is a yardstick, then it would be something like achieving uh, the target, achieving the target in a mission. If education is a mission, achieving target in education, achieving target uh, in that particular field. Yeah. Can be uh, termed as meritocracy. I cannot understand even right now. So if yes, you can explain, right. no problem. No problem. Yes, anyone like Ganesha, Shubhashri, Gulu, Chasma. I can take your all names. Sasmita. Meritocracy uh, is just a process term where people um, get power and uh, only basis of their ability. With the group of people with the people of kind of human our uh, social system, sir. Uh, sorry, Ganesha, actually, you are not clearly audible. No problem. Anyone would like to add there? What do you mean by merit or merit meritocracy in educational practices? But this is one of the important uh, uh, subject matter we are expected to uh, understand or uh, like reflect of it. Reflector. Hello, sir. Yes, Bulu. Sir, merit means offer to lawyer, I think. Offer to lawyer, sir. What? So, I am really struggling to uh, hear all of you. I don't know if I am audible clearly, then, then fine. Otherwise, I'm not able to, I mean, uh, hear you uh, in most of the times. Anyway, um, Madhava has tried to uh, come to that point. I could not listen to uh, Ganesha and Guru as well. Uh, yes, merit. Uh, in like, uh, in, in the content of education, uh, there is a uh, like achievable things, achievable uh, matters. Like uh, statistically, uh, Madhava uh, like attempted to put it. If someone scored highest, say for example, uh, hundred percent, we calculate hundred percent. We like we have a uh, like strategy of uh, determining how we are and where do we stand. Like if uh, uh, we are dealing with the content of 100% and if we achieve uh, 90% then you are treated as when you score or when you achieve 90% target then you, you are treated as okay you have done very well, you are outstanding. And that's a credit given to you. Right. And like those who uh, those who like uh, 
have struggled to achieve sixty percent. They are not uh, recognized well as as the person who has scored, who has achieved ninety percent, has been recognized, has been highlighted. The person of this, I mean, population those who have secured sixty percent. they are not highlighted they are not so uh, uh, like respected or recognized respected uh, in uh, frank uh, manner respected je jodi 90 percent anichi ko thire ta ko ame bahut tar gote tar mane prashansa karuchu ta ko gote bhalo weightage douchu tar gote samman rouchi nahi kintu सेटा गोटे मेरीट कहटा गोटे दैट्स एचिवमेंट दैट्स एन एचिवमेंट से गोटे बड़ मेरीट तार दि पर्सन हेज दैट एबिलिटी दि पर्सन हेज दैट लाइक कमांड वी आर टेलींग जी से परसेंट स्कोर कर कंटेन्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट तार गोटे रही कौन तार सक्से रही आम एत हमें ध्यान दौ हमें प्रशंसा कर भैल्यू दौन ठीक कह ये हूँ ना दिस इज वाज मेरिट मेरीटोक्रेसी एंड को पुनी आमे कौन कर तारी आधार रे आमे पुनी ताको आग को सुजोग दौर धरी नि क्लास टेन्थ रे नाइंटी परसेंट स्कोर कला से गोटे भल सुग मिल गए भल भल गए हायर एजुकेशन इन्यूशन हायर सेकेंडेरी स्कूल भल सुग मिल मान जो गोटे भल इनफ्रास्ट्रक्चर थी जार मान जार बैकग्राउंड रेकर्ड रेकर्ड भल थी से सुजोग पाइब कितु जे 60 परसेंट स्कोर कर तो यह गोटे कौन गोटे मेरीट प्रति आम बुझाम रही मेरीट प्रति आम गोटे एप्रोच रही रही ना रही तो इप आई कैन नहीं Get the feedback. That if that is true or not? Yes, sir, true. Again, Rohit ji, again. Rohit ji, say bolay Rohit ji. Ah, kintu ah, uh, this is uh, this is not this 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 should not be happening. Meritocracy actually means ah uh, many thing else. Not in that straightforward that what you achieve, that what you saw, uh, that is in the in the name of ninety percent, and what you see so in the in the form of sixty percent, it is not a straightforward value, and you should not get entire uh, like credit entire uh, credit in future course of. Action or in future, actually, the person who has, as who has like scored sixty percent, you look at the person's background. The person who has scored ninety percent, you look at the a uh, person socio-economic background, socio-economic and cultural background. right uh, the all possibilities are there that the person who has scored 60% might have a very struggling background might have struggling socio cultural and economic background but the person who has scored 90% might have full of supports full of advantages full of socio cultural and economic advantages so that achieving 
90 percent has not been a difficult task is is not a difficult task besides that socio cultural and economic background that person might have got better like better supports in school better uh, like inputs better guidance better attention in school than the person those the person those who has or the person who has like scored 60% so then how do you like calculate merit so in that sense calculating merit and like giving incentives giving values giving priorities giving respect uh, in a, a partial sense guided by this like a uh, visible uh, like uh, achievement that is 90 percent and 60 percent can like create trouble for uh, all of us that that creates difficulties in our like like putting efforts for them or like giving uh, giving them value or giving them incentives in 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 their like in their endeavors or in their uh, efforts so precisely meritocracy does not simply imply that that what you what you saw in your like quantitative achievement like scoring 90%, 95% or 99% and scoring 60% or 50%. Actually, that also implies that the originality or the uh, like uh, the kind of environment of uh, the person is having. If a person uh, having disadvantage background, socially, culturally, economically, and educationally, like person, if person is not getting much attention in school, not getting much guidance, much inputs in school, and at the same time having like cultural, social, and economic disadvantage, having all those in dis disadvantage and like scored sixty percent. And person having all those like easy easy supports, best inputs, and scored ninety percent. Then who should to whom we should give credit? To whom we should give credit? My question. A for credit deva. Yes, my question. I hope uh, um, you have like you have understood my uh, points here. You have uh, uh, like uh, can I get some feedback from your side? What it told? No, uh, no. No, sir, no, sir. The point is not clear. So, can you please repeat the question as a whole? Uh, no. Yes, anyone can. So, my point is question, please. Yeah. Question is that I am just able to do situation. John is here. Ninety percent score comes. This is a most popular support system. That I mean, just as some of us, all support system. Social support system. Cultural advantage system. Economic support system. There are educational supports, best supports, above 90% score. On the other end, yes, 60% score. Say, uh, struggle. There's a social supports, a parenting, a cultural background, 
तार बोलो इकोनॉमिक सपोर्ट्स नहीं तार बोलो एजुकेशनल इनपुट्स बस सपोर्ट्स मध्य नहीं स्कूल है तो तब इसे 60 परसेंट स्कोर करी थी तो अमे इबोले परिस्थिति अमे कहाँ को बोलो कहीं बा क्या बोलो कहीं बा सर ओबियसली जे 60 परसेंट तो शिक्षा कोई बोलो कहीं बा 60 परसेंट रखी जे तो स्ट्रगल करी थी और सब तक तक को माने कहीं भी सपोर्ट करो ना दी तो से ओनली स्ट्रगल करी कि ही अजमन 60 परसेंट पाई जी रात दिन जे 90 परसेंट पाई थी तो टाइगर तक को सब कुछ ही माने सपोर्ट मिलो ची सोशल सपोर्ट मिलो ची ओन तक को फैमिली सपोर्ट मिलो ची टीचर सपोर्ट मिलो ची एंड फाइनेंशियल वी से स्ट्रॉंग हो ची जो टाइगर तक को माने सबू थाई की तब 90 परसेंट हो ची बट जहाँ पाखर किच्छ ना ही तब उसे भी स्ट्रगल करेगी ही 60 परसेंट रखी पड़ ची तो ओब्वियसली तक को एक क्रेडिट जीबा को तक को क्रेडिट जीबा क राइट। बेटर At the same time, we also should respect the person who has who has not done quantitatively for better, but then having uh, like a, like different uh, backgrounds, having a different supports. We also recognize that merit, that originality, that potential that person is having, right? So that is what we call meritocracy in education. But the uh, the problem is that. Uh, uh, we we are uh, we have been bit biased in encouraging or in giving more uh, like uh, uh, more more value to person who has like uh, shown uh, better result quantitatively, right? That is true. So we'll we'll move forward. Uh, then many things there. Uh, I, I I hope you'll be able to. Then there is democracy comes into play. Uh, kind of a picture. Democracy. How do we again uh, like conceptualize de conceptualize democracy here? So when we take care of this the person who has scored sixty percent in a difficult situation, when we we do recognize when do res when we Respect the person. Uh, that is what we call democracy, meritocracy, and democracy. And that is when we when we identify, when we recognize that excellence in a in a disadvantaged situation. That is that is what also a credit. That is what we call excellence. Excellence doesn't mean that who has the person who has uh, scored ninety percent. The person who has scored 60 percent is also excellence in that situation. So that is what respecting, identifying, recognizing uh, the uh, situation uh, is what we call democracy and uh, excellence uh, in uh, that sense. So meritocracy, democracy, and excellence they go together, right? Is there? Then we have unit eighteen alternatives in education. What are the alternatives education we have?
alternative practices right no alternatives in education alternatives alternatives uh, initiatives at the uh, macro level alternative initiative at the micro level so what is alternatives in education now uh, let me uh, precisely keep before you that alternatives in education means that education since education is found to be a uh, ever ending uh, process ever ending or uh, that's a lifelong process uh, we should not be restricting it to uh, school colleges or university uh, with a definite time definite definite time definite approaches it is beyond that it is beyond that alternatives in education so since it is a lifelong process that uh, we keep the door open or we keep the uh, door of education open all the times so, so education like besides mainstream education mainstream education that is mainstream education like school like largely uh, larger practice we have a school formal schools like where we have a definite uh, definite a session definite as uh, then definite a definite span isn't it that is mainstream education which everything is de de defined uh, in a very uh, uh, like in a very restricted manner everything is restricted but alternatives education something which is not uh, restricted we have like alternative practices it is guided by lifelong uh, learning lifelong education that uh, education is something lifelong and therefore it should not be restricted to mainstream education where it is restricted in terms of as in terms of our uh, time or session in terms of in terms of uh, resources and practices everything sir everything is restricted there but alternative education which is guided by the philosophy as well as sociology and psychology that is it is a lifelong uh, process and therefore we have alternative mechanisms like uh, alternative school system we have like national open school system we have we have uh, indira gandhi national open university we have uh, then uh, we have many alternative practices in india for uh, school education as well as for higher education where we have we are relatively free we are we are relatively free in terms of uh, or flexible in terms of time in terms of uh, as limit in terms of like approaches or in terms of resource supports there we we are relatively free, free there in uh, uh, in uh, doing those practices so that is what uh, alternatives in education here right so i i quickly i just uh, it is there if anything technical i will be highlighting that so there uh, we uh, we have points like need for the alternative education uh, that you can feel better what is the need of alternative like where you join ignu uh, program that you can understand better likewise that the basis uh, basis of our perspectives of alternative education it is uh, there's been covered there you'll be able to understand uh, there whatever uh, like subjects are prescribed there you can understand you'll be able to understand or you can ask me anything if you would like to clarify on alternative education
Yes. Then we have recent trends in Indian education. Uh, recent trends that is uh, privatization, globalization, and sustainable development. And beyond that, also we have like concept of like peace education, human rights education, right? These are all recent trends in Indian education. We have privatization. Yes. and liberalization as well right uh, like we are inviting private players to uh, provide education we have like number of uh, like private agencies or private individual those are involved in providing education uh, uh education for i mean at the school level as well as Uh, like uh, at higher level, people are involved there. So what? Uh, what trend is that? That we are encouraging it. It was not. I mean that must of uh, uh, 20 years back or in the 20th century. We we have seen a uh, uh, kind of uh, like exponential growth in private uh, uh, private engagement. in education in the 21st century mostly right so uh, that is what uh, a, a kind of uh, a kind of trend we have developed that we are giving opportunity the state is giving uh, like freedom to the uh, private uh, people to uh, like they can provide education and can uh like meet the requirements of education of, of people so that is in a way government is remaining or uh, are trying to re remain uh, remain isolated or it is withdrawing itself in terms of the supports although it is trying to regulate the uh, private players but then um, like uh, on the other hand it is like Uh, like withdrawing in terms of uh, bringing uh, or opening up more and more higher education institution or uh, more and more uh, like uh, required number of schools in providing education so in a way it is like inviting private players to uh, uh, provide education and to meet the requirements of uh, educational requirements of people so in a way that is that has been given importance in the recent time And that is what we call privatization of education and likewise it is there uh, uh, it is it is taking place uh, in a very global manner uh, right it is not restricted privatization is not restricted or education is not restricted within the india people from india is like moving across the globe for education for getting education or giving education and likewise we are also getting affected by uh, people across in the our countries across across globe so that we our content our education is getting affected getting supported by the countries uh, across globe in that sense uh, we have like we have been witnessing in the recent times that uh, the kind of globalization in educational practices it is there right so likewise sustainable development human rights education and peace education these are some of the recent uh, uh recent like uh, developments in the field of educational practices so uh, there won't be any problem uh, to understand this subject matter once you uh, go through the text prescribed to you and consult Uh, some good readings uh, available online right so i won't be able to take uh, uh, like uh, many many more questions but i can take one or two if you can have in your mind you can just ask me otherwise we will close to today's uh, program and will like of course uh, today's schedule you can contact me some other times on phone you can take my uh, uh, number you can note down my number i i'll just it is there in your schedule my my uh, mobile number is there my cell phone number is there my email id is there you can contact me at any point of time if you would like to tell me 
Sir, can you give your number, sir? Yes, it is there in your schedule that has been shared with you. But you can note it down. Yes. Seven seven six zero. Yes. Six eight seven six. One seven three. I repeat seven six zero. Six eight seven six. One seven three. All right. Okay, sir. So, yes. Any anything you would like to uh, keep before me in the form of questions or query, you can. So, how sustainable development is a trend in education that I have to understand. Ah, uh, yes. In both, in, in it has two perspectives. One is that. we are trying to introduce the concept in our education what do we mean by sustainable development that is dealing with the concept and theory of sustainable development that is one perspective of educational practices right what is what do we mean by sustainable development we are trying to introduce in our courses and syllabus in our content in school in uh, like colleges or in university right universities that is one perspective other another perspective is we are trying to develop the we are trying to be responsive making our educational practices responsive more more working more functional more responsive to the needs and requirements of the uh, people it's not that the way today i deal with in terms of providing education to my people and and, and tomorrow i am unable to unable to deal with the affair of education in terms of providing education to our people right for example like uh, uh, 30 years back or say 20 years back the privatization concept was or uh, practice was not so prominent not so uh, like heavily coming forward but today the government is in a way like like surrendering it is unable to uh, like take care of education for entire population quality education government is like is uh, in a way inviting pl private players to uh, give pr quality education so this is what abdicating responsibility by the state right and how do how do you i mean how state sustains uh, sustain or sustain the practices of education so sustainable development uh, of the education itself is a what is a major uh, major area of concern so that is one of the uh, the perspectives of sustainable development in education one is the concept and theory of sustainable development and other perspective is the the kind of uh, practices we have in education how far as those are amicable how far as those are approachable affordable and like and sustainable that is another so we will be talking about more some other points of time you try to first uh, consult the fundamental things prescribed to you in your text and then you consult other uh, readings available online okay i hope i have made some sense to you Uh, uh in like in joining it uh, by joining uh, on this platform uh in a very uh, restricted again and limited uh, manner and in a very uh, in a stressful situation that today uh, we have so uh, thank you very much all of you for being uh, with us in, on this platform uh and hope that you will be with my task in my task in future either uh on phone or through uh, email thank you very much all of you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir i'm so i'm exiting right now yes yes thank you sir Students. thank you thank you all just i will tell uh thank you sir yes uh -huh. thank you thank you all uh, yes thank you all hello yes sir we are here Ah yes. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Dr. Lingaraj Satpati will take the class. 
Okay. Uh, tomorrow, Lingara Satpati will take the class seven to nine. Okay. Already message, um, most probably all of you received. Okay. So all of you come at seven o'clock. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have received the mail. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. So thank you all. Good night, all of you. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. So, I can every note of present or two. What I find out that I'm going to be a full. The 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 full.